Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Aerosol Family. I'm sorry if I'm, I'm still adjusting the uh, head strap here. But uh, yeah, this is the Well M16A1. Now, getting the buttstock off is really interesting because you can do this uh, before you put this on because I had to completely unscrew this just to get it off here, which was really friction on there. I'm not even going to lie, this sucker was really friction on there. Anyway, so we, so I'm currently opening this thing up, seeing what we actually have in this, because I'm curious. So yeah, just two screws here, and you can remove the handguard by basically uh, pulling back on this, and you can completely remove that. Uh, still tension spring here, but either way. Uh, the handguard is actually somewhat decent plastic, I'm not gonna lie, like, that's actually really decent plastic. That's it's really not bad. Alright, let's go ahead and pull off this bit right here and that's did not expect a metal barrel as well as a metal outer barrel as well well except for this bit here this bit's actually plastic but this is actually somewhat metal I want to say and that's what's uh it's interesting hmm hmm Let's go ahead and screw this bit here. There we go. And will this. No, that actually just splits open afterwards. Okay. That's interesting. A lot of it's just smaller screws, except for the mag release, which is a. Larger screw, and it sounds like the video I was editing just finished, so that's a good sign. By the looks of it, it looks like standard mag release, so you can actually swap out other AR mag releases that you like off of your favorite springers to put on this if you wanted to. Let's go ahead and pull out that. Set that to the side. Let's go ahead and start opening this up. Is this actually completely attached to the gun? Because it doesn't look like it. And I don't believe it is. I want to say that and I bet you anything it is attached. Yeah, it's attached. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to try your best to keep the screws in this as best as you can. Let's split this bad boy apart. Go. Hmm. Huh. Oh, holy hell. That's actually a pretty decent looking spring, and wow, this is actually based off of the same system as. Okay. That's rather interesting, more or less. That's, uh, huh. It's pretty damn simple, actually. Not only that, but the, uh, barrel itself is actually really nice. I do like they incorporate a full-size barrel. No hop-up, of course, but then again, depending on the distance this got in the test, which, Grant, I am filming this before, uh, I even have the video fully released, so... I will say, so I can say in the video whether or not this can be modded, but this can be modded. This really can be. It's, it's rather interesting, to say the least. So, yeah. That's really, really cool. Also, was that actually attached to something up in here? I believe the end. Yeah, it was. It was attached to this here, so... That's, that's interesting, at least. 
Abelian, okay. Motherfuck. And as for the charging handle itself, and I want to talk about this a bit. Let me just go ahead and pull that out. That's actually somewhat flimsy plastic. This is... Oh, no, that's not flimsy plastic. I'm actually attempting to... No, that's not breaking. If it's going to break when putting a more powerful spring in here, it will be this piece here that might break. Or it could very well be the plunger head here, because even then it might not be that bad. And that, those are words I thought I'd never say about a gun like this. It could not be that bad. I believe in. Okay. I have soiled my words, my friends. I have, I have gone and soiled my words. Okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. Let me just put that back on there. Go ahead and put this back around here. There we go. There we are. Okay. So the answer as to where or not this can be modded was definitely yes. A powerful spring? Maybe. The fact they put a weight up in here is definitely interesting. I'm definitely surprised they did that with the grip and not just the buttstock. But that's aluminum, by the way. That or that might be lead. It might be a lead part. You know what? If anything, get the gun for just this so you can make bullets out of it. Because this will probably make some pretty good 45 ACP. Maybe some 40 cal. Maybe some uh, maybe some nice 357 slugs. You, you let me know in the comments section what bullets you'd be making out of this. Uh, this nice bit of uh, metal right here. Okay, so I have gone and put a better spring in this bad boy, as well as removed that right there. Because let's face it, this thing has got such friction on it that really I couldn't remove it unless I start beating the hell out of it. Anyway, five shots as per the name of the game. Ironically enough, the actual prime of it is not that hard to do, or at least the cocking of it. Just try and uh, level it a bit so I can actually see clearly the FPS. 326! Okay. Just level it out again. 328. Here we go. 321. Oh. We had a failure to feed. That's new. Just go ahead and pop that back up in there. That's new. We had a failure to feed. Three twenty-eight. Okay, failure to feed. Um. So here's the kicker about the spring. When I pulled the spring out of it, this was the spring I got. This was a cut spring. And what's funny is this is an AEG spring. No joke, this is an AEG spring. This is about a 300 or more FPS spring, but it was cut prematurely. So, depending on where this came from, it's almost got the same frequency as this, which is a 400 FPS spring, or 400 plus AEG spring. So this is an AEG spring. As to what the FPS was, I may never know. But, that's something to actually keep in mind when actually uh, modifying the... Deep fire slash well M16A1. It's something I might actually take out to the field. Huh. I might actually do that. 
I might do some more modification to it. I don't know, but uh, we'll see. We'll see in the near future. But anyway, thank you all for watching. As always, I've been Airsoft Al, and I will uh, see you guys in the next modification video. Later.